Hello and welcome to my next video in the series for Linux Mint for Windows users. Getting Linux Mint. As you can probably guess, in this video I'm going to explain some of the ways that you can get Linux Mint on your computer. The first and most simple way of doing this is to simply buy a computer with Linux Mint already installed. Problem is, you can't usually pop down to your local computer shop and pick up a computer with Linux Mint already installed on it. However, you can buy a few computers through the Linux Mint website and of course there are people on eBay selling computers with it pre-installed. I've never tried buying it from any of these sellers, however the option's there if you wish to try it. Your other option of course is to install it yourself on a computer of your choosing. In this case you'd go to the Linux Mint website and then download Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition Edge. This version will work absolutely fine on most Intel and AMD based computers that you have at home or can purchase in the shop. Please bear in mind that this will not work for the majority of newer Apple computers or most Chromebooks. Keep in mind that installing Linux Mint will likely wipe your hard drive so make sure you back up everything on the computer that you need before even attempting to install it. I have created a video on how to create a Linux Mint install stick which I will link in the description. Your other option is to create a virtual computer with Linux Mint installed on it. What this will allow you to do is boot up into Windows and then install Linux Mint into a virtual computer which allows you to use it without making any changes to your existing Windows setup. Any changes that you make to the virtual computer are completely isolated from your main computer and therefore it's relatively low risk compared to installing onto existing piece of hardware that you've got. This way it works a little bit like an install program on your existing computer. It shows up in a window just as a web browser would, or a movie, and you can resize and minimize it as you need. Again, I've d created some videos on making a Linux Mint virtual machine, so I won't be going into it any further here. I'm not going to get too involved on how to install Linux Mint on a computer that you have at home or one that you've purchased. This is because it can range from being very straightforward to a bit more technical, and it's really out of the scope of this series. Therefore, in the next video, I'm going to assume that by one way or another, you've got Linux Mint installed on a computer at home and you're ready to use it. Thanks for watching.